So for your hip shift, the first thing you want to bear in mind is that if it's a left hip shift, your right knee is going to be going forward. And if it's a right hip shift, your left knee is going to be going forward. So just to kind of get the terminology right before we go ahead with the exercise. So typically I would give people a left hip shift. So I'm going to go through that, but if it was the other one, like you had a right hip shift as a rarity, you would then flip everything around. It would be the left knee going forward. So for the left hip shift, I'm going to reach my arms overhead, 90 degrees at hips, 90 degrees at knees. I'm going to breathe in through the nose. I'm going to breathe out through the mouth and hook my heels into the wall. And I'm going to let my knees travel up towards the ceiling. My pelvis lifts off the floor. So I'm already in a hamstring hook bridge. So my pelvis is up and my lower back's in contact with ground. My knees have gone forward as I've breathed out. I'm going to hold that position. I'm digging my heels into the wall. Now without my feet moving, my left knee is going to come back and my right knee is going to come forward. So left hip shift. So left knee back, right knee forward. If you do it right, your left groin will be screaming at you. It will be on fire. Then you're just going to hold that for the desired amount of time. So it's 30 seconds, we hold this for 30 seconds, keeping the pelvis off the floor. Then when you're done, just come back to me, Phil. Cool.